You walk through history here, people living the life of the 19th century, the war, the trades, the home. And wherever there are people, there will be shopping. So kind of think of this like the marketplace of the Indiana State Fair, minus about two centuries or so. They got lots of stuff here to take your money, to eat or to buy. Cash only, of course, unless you got some furs laying around. That'll probably do, too. Is this kind of like a used car salesman, 1812 style? I like to think of, uh, yeah. I can change your life. Right? We, can, we guarantee that we can get anything you need. Today, with the front, is mostly Kids Day because it's Kids Day. Uh -huh. and, uh, but we try to sell 18th century reproduction items that will help cover what you're going to do. And what yeah, you so want I to saw do. Indians go in there and kids. You don't really care as long as they pay. As long as they pay. <laughs> We're here. Shopping makes you hungry. So what does 1812 fast food look like? Well, you can go crude with sugar on a stick. Pretty and tasty, but just as bad for you then as it is now. Hmm. It's kind of like lifesavers. You just have a whole bunch of them. Nope, you need frontier sustenance, the kind that comes from buffalo. Bison is becoming very, very popular. There's bison farms in every one of the lower 48 states. Mm -hmm. uh, bison has a lot of good health issue, uh, health benefits. It's very high in protein. It's low in fat. It's low in cholesterol. Now, in 1812, if I had a buffalo burger, if something existed like that, would I get any mustard on it? Probably not. <laughs> but fortunately, I have mustard right out there. Oh. Okay, so I'm a mustard fan, but just to get the official buffalo taste, I'm doing half without, at least for now. So this is without. Tastes like chicken. No, not really. Tastes like a burger. Well, time to wet the whistle. You want something more than spring water? Well, you have to add a few roots. How did you get started making 1812 authentic root beer? Uh, actually, it's a family recipe. Uh, my grandmother used to make root beer. Uh, years ago, my father and I were looking for something to do for the bicentennial in our hometown. We had a Revolutionary War reenactment, and we wanted to do something for that event. Uh, so we did some research. Uh, we went back and realized that we had a recipe that was 200 years old. All right, so we got the bottle. Garrett says he wants that. This is the first sample. Nice, authentic yes, sir. family recipe. There you go. Authentic 1812 root beer. And this is mine. So we've got the merch, the food, and dessert. Just one problem. We don't look like we belong. Uh, make me look a lot more authentic then. How about a nice rifleman's box? Rifleman's. That's really, this really is good. A hunting coat. Okay. I don't hunt. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you guys have a big and tall shop? <laughs> it's a marketplace of memories, looking back on a time when everything wasn't so convenient, but shopping was still pretty fun.